Hey YouTube, welcome back. We'll do a little video for you. Um, I've been asking questions about this little generator. Been getting a lot of questions about it, this little solar generator. Um, this model comes with a five volt, five watt uh, panel. It is extremely long, extremely long. This is, I don't know, this might be a 10 foot on this it has a one-way direction plug let me get it to fo focus here as you can see there we go it's squared on one end rounded on the other so you can't mess that up um, comes with the three hanging uh, light uh, LED lights each light comes with a on off rocker switch all right so as you know Let's see, let's go ahead and turn our master switch on. We're a fully charged little solar unit. It is currently 9.53 in the morning. A lot of overcast, a lot of overcast. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a, a video on how long these lights run. Um, one light is supposed to last 20 hours. That would be more than enough for me, it would be okay for me in here. I might use two of them, getting situated at night. Uh, I only used one when I was on my camping trip. I actually only used one and then I used the front facing light more than anything because uh, it was kind of real late getting in. I didn't have time setting up. So I, I used the front facing lamp and, and as well as one LED just to hurry up and get in bed. But I would probably use two regularly. One, really, all I need. Uh, third one, they're pretty bright. I don't see me even needing to use it. But I've been asked by a subscriber, uh, do you think this would be good as a uh, permanent lighting solution in a tiny cabin or a truck show camper? I think that was the question. And my, my answer to that is yes, absolutely. Anytime you don't have to turn on main power or generator. Yeah, absolutely. You can save your other battery bank if you have another bigger solar setup. You can save it and just use this. So you just need light in the, the, the kitchen, living, dining area, kitchen, you know, where you eat or whatever. Wherever you have set up. Yeah, set it up. Run, set your lights. These, this has a lot of cord on here. I haven't actually measured how much is it, but it's... It's got quite a bit of distance on it. And it has these little jumpers on it. So, think about it. These plugs are pretty... Let me see if I can get it focused. Pretty common. So, if this... If you do hang it up in a little tiny cabin, and this isn't quite enough to reach where you want to set your little solar generator, you can buy extensions. Because this is such a common plug. It's really cool that they use this one. So you can get on to Amazon and you can buy extensions to, uh, but like I said, you probably don't have to because this is quite a bit of cord, but if you have to in your situation, you know, uh, it has these little hoops on here so you can put a little hook or D-ring or whatever, you know, hang it up. Uh, but you know what? We're going to do an experiment on let's see, the lights today. Uh, we're going to do the... Uh, the hanging lamps. One lamp's supposed to last 20 hours, two, 10, three, seven hours. Uh, let's do, realistically, let's set up two. Let's see how two lights, and I just turned on the master switch, so there it is. See how easy that switch is? On, off. All right, and then let's turn on our rocker switches. Oh, I'm turning on. I was turning on this one. <laughs> Get them backwards. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, why is the light not turning on? Because I'm turning on not the wrong rocker switch. All right, so we're going to set that up. See how long the lights last. Uh, everything. See how long the battery level lasts. 
let you know on that. All right, thank you.